Why is Fairy Tale S? We are listening to the Fairy Tale OST right now. Think about it. How good is Fairy Tale on a scale of 1 to 10? It has perfect plot. No one dies, which is a good thing because your favorite characters will never die. It has the power of friendship, the most important part of any shonen anime. If you don't have the power of friendship, you're not, it's not a real shonen anime. And also, it has big breasts. So, there's the one, two, three. You got the one, two, three right there. Alright, next. Um. Alright, boys. Today, the plan is simple. We simply have to rank our favorite shonen anime. And of course, we got the fairy tale music in the background because that's the best anime. We already know fairy tale is going to S tier. So we start off. Boom. The best anime, the best shonen anime is fairy tale. There's no other, there's no argument here. You don't believe so? You're wrong. All right, next. What should I do next? Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan? Dog shit. I'm just kidding. Attack on Titan is definitely one of the best shonen out there. It has good plot, good animation, What else does it have? <laughs> Good care. Okay, the characters. Levi is cool. Erwin is cool. Who else we got? Mikasa's alright. But overall, it's definitely hitting a lot of the of a lot of the key aspects, I would say. Why is Fairy Tale S? We are listening to the Fairy Tale OST right now. Think about it. How good is Fairy Tale on a scale of 1 to 10? It has perfect plot. No one dies, which is a good thing because your favorite characters will never die. It has the power of friendship, the most important part of any shonen anime. If you don't have the power of friendship, you're not, it's not a real shonen anime. And also, it has big breasts. So, there's the one, two, three. You got the one, two, three right there. Alright, next. Um, Bleach. We got Bleach. Bleach is gonna have to... Bleach starts with a B, so it's going in the B tier. It's a, it's a pretty good show, you know. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's an average show, I would say. Um... The plot is questionable at times, questionable at times, but overall I say it's, it hits at average in most qualities. The best quality for Bleach, I would say, is the character design actually. The characters have, look pretty cool. They got the boobs going on as well, we always got to give points for the boobs, you know, that's what we do around here. There's a lot of Dragon Balls here, so what is this? Is this Dragon Ball? Z or what is that? Or this drag? What is this? Oh no, this is Dragon Ball Z. It literally says, this. "Is this Dragon Ball Super?" What the fuck? What does Dragon Ball Super look like? Dragon Ball Super. Oh yeah, this is Super. This is Super. Uh, Dragon Ball Super. Ooh, Dragon Ball Super. Ooh. Okay, so the first part of Dragon Ball Super was very, very bad. Horrible. It was basically a slower version of the movie. 
which just made it just so ass. And then the tournament arc was towards the end. Like, the first 80 episodes are actually, like, useless. The tournament arc, though, had Jiren, and it had some cool fights. Frieza and Goku versus Jiren and Android 17. So it has one redeeming quality, which puts it in the C tier. That alone was enough, in my opinion. It's very close to being... I just hate, like, the beginning. All right, we got Dragon Ball Z now. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z has to be better than Super. So therefore, it automatically goes in the B tier. It's just a rule. It just has to be, has to be there. Uh, it's. It's all. I'm pretty biased because it was one of the first animes I ever watched when I was like in second grade or some shit. But it was some epic, there's some epic battles. The pacing is kind of, you know, the, the meme is that some episodes are literally just yelling for 10 minutes straight. But it was still hyped nonetheless. So we, we put it in the beat here. It might, we might have to put it like at the top of C. But we'll see. Get it? Huh? We'll see. Okay, never mind. Um, next, we got Black Clover. Black Clover. Black Clover. Ooh, Black Clover. I will put it in A for now. I will put it in A. Early, the... Okay, and also this is an anime tier list. So... We're gonna, we're gonna have to factor in... Animation, pacing, art, stuff like that. And Black Clover in the beginning was actually garbage. It was actually garbage. There's no way around it. It was garbage. The The animation was absolutely terrible. It was literally like fucking... I could do the animation. Uh, but nowadays, if you've watched the recent Black Clover episodes... It's kind of good, and the plot's getting kind of hype. So we, it, it, in my opinion, it deserves an A tier. Okay, we need some shittier ones here. So let's do Blue Exorcist. Blue Exorcist is literal shit. It is complete, absolute garbage. No one will ever disagree with you on that. If they do, they have mushrooms for brains. Uh, this this show has absolutely nothing going for it. It looked really cool. It has a lot of potential. But they just executed it so fucking badly. Next. Okay, we can't do Boruto yet before Naruto. We can't do Boruto before Naruto, so let's do Death Note. <sighs> Death Note is an S tier shonen anime. Of course it is. One of the few animes. Give me a sec. <laughs> it's one of the few animes where I've watched it twice at least. And it's that's that's big for a shonen anime cuz usually the shonen animes are long ass animes. They're not short. That note is like 40 or 38 episodes or something it's near it's 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 near 40 so if i've watched it twice it's good because i'm I, I play league right 
I don't. I usually like to play alternate BT champs. I don't. I don't one trick champs. That's just the kind of person I am. The same thing is with anime, right? You gotta. I need a variety of anime. But if it's good enough, I'll watch it again. Especially because I first, the first time I watched it was when I was like in middle school or some something on Toonami. You believe that Toonami? I was actually scared. I actually just like peed my pants every night because I was fucking scared that the Shinigami was gonna kill me. But that's how good it is. It's gonna make you piss your pants. Next, we got full. Full Metal Alchemist to Brotherhood, okay? Gotta say it like that. As a... My, one of my favorite YouTubers, Nux Taku says. Anyway. Full Metal Alchemist to Brotherhood. I'll put it at the top of A. I will put it at the top of A. So, I have not watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood twice. I've only watched it once, and it was pretty long ago at this point. It is quite a good story, but since I haven't watched it twice, I feel like it's not good enough to be in the S. But I might one day watch it twice, and then it will then it will automatically be yes. That's just how it works. I don't make the rules. Um, it's also really long, so that's probably that's one of the reasons why I don't watch it twice. Maybe it will move it to the S. It is quite a good show. Okay, IQ, IQ guys, IQ worse than Blue Exorcist. Worst anime so far, by far. Garbage ass anime. Who would ever want to watch little boys play volleyball? That's cringe. The only reason that you would like this show is if you are a straight woman. If you are not a straight woman and you like this show, you are a not you are a homosexual man. Or if you're okay, so you can be a straight woman. Or a homosexual man, and you will like the show. But since I'm neither of those, I do not like the show. That's my philosophy on Haikyuu. Any sports anime. Except for Kuroko's Basket. Okay, Kuroko's Basket. That's a solid B tier, baby. That's a solid B tier. Because we got cool ass dudes. We got that fucking blue haired dude. He's fucking sick. Whereas in Haikyuu, you got a bunch of little pussies. Alright. And we got what, the red haired dude. He's like literally the definition of a Chad. They're all Chads here. We got simps. Oh shit. I mean, uh, shrimps. My bad. Please don't ban me. Shrimps in this show. Chads in this show. Which is why we see, we see the ranking as such. Okay, the pro I have not watched Hajime no Ippo, so I cannot rank it, unfortunately. As a, even though I do consider myself a connoisseur of the shonen anime, I have not watched this one, so... And neither have I watched... What is this, Inusasha? Samurai X? I don't know what Samurai X is. Might get destroyed for that, but whatever. Next, we got JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm assuming this is part five, but like, or is it the whole series? Because right, I'm just going to go with the whole series. So JoJo's is most Definitely. I'll put it top of A. That might be surprising some people because people know me as a JoJo's fan. But overall, I can see why some people would not like it. 
which is why it's not an S. An S is something that everyone should like. And by the way, if you are a straight male and you do not like JoJo's, you're not straight. That's all I'll say. Um... Yeah, so let's go to Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins is actually currently running, and I'm watching the current season. And let me tell you... Okay, I can't put it in the literal shit category because it's literally... It, it has a redeeming element. The first season was good. The first season was actually good. And then they introduced Escanor, which is one of my favorite anime characters of all time. But then it just went to literal shit, which is why I'm going to have to put it in butt cheeks cuz it Escanor brings it out of the out of the dumpster. But it is it, still butt cheeks because the animation. Woo! That's sh that's not good. That's just not good. Um, I'm gonna throw up the I'll throw up the picture of like Meliodas. Um, that meme picture of Meliodas where they drew him like just so badly. It wasn't even animation, just the art. They couldn't even like afford to like make one frame look good. Um, oh, let me just change this to dog water, because that's more of a 2021 term. Um, yeah, so, and also Escanor carries it to possibly even a C, but it, objectively it is quite bad, so. Alright, let's rank, you guessed it, One Piece. One Piece is next. Now, I'll start off by saying One Piece is my favorite series of all time. No doubt about it. You don't think One Piece the GOAT? I don't want to talk to you. But, um, objectively, this is a shonen anime tier list. Not manga. So, we all know that the One Piece anime is, there's something to be desired there. You know, it has such a good story behind it. It had the potential, but unfortunately, we got Toei animation. But, after saying all that, Wano arc is actually good. Somehow, all the recent shonen anime have been pumping out good episodes. Black Clover, Oruto, and One Piece. One Piece, Wano arc, could be considered the best animated anime part of One Piece. Since Water 7. And even then, it might even be better than that by the end. So... S tier, baby! Of course! Of course! Why would it be any lower than that? And we're putting it at the top of us, right behind Fairy Tail, because, you know, Fairy Tail is the best anime of all time. No questions about it. And continuing on with some of the big three, we got, we got Naruto, and we got Naruto Shippuden, and we got Boruto. Naruto is gonna be A tier. A tier. We put it Naruto in the A tier. We'll put it. It's. I think. We'll put it here for now. Naruto. OG Naruto is good. It just is good. There were, it was 
pretty much my childhood growing up. Uh, yeah, along with Dragon Ball. So, I just remember trying to be a ninja as a little kid, running around in my playground with my hands behind my back, doing the Shadow Clone no Jutsu. That's gotta count for something, right? That's gotta count for something. Then we got Shippuden. Now, the thing is, most of these animes on this list don't have fillers because they aren't they aren't long running enough but the few that do it's just one piece bleach and fairy tale and black clover and that's it so far but um naruto shibuden is the worst by far when it comes to filler. If you take all the filler out, I think it's pretty good. But we all know that the notorious filler just destroys the series, so... It's going in the B tier, even though it has some of my favorite, favorite scenes in all of Shonen anime. It's going in the B tier, because the filler is just atrocious. It's still... the. I personally would put it the top of B tier because I just I love Naruto. But it's worse than One Piece. Get that straight here. Worse than One Piece. Alright, next we got Boruto! Boruto! Now early Boruto was alright, I would say. It felt it felt like OG Naruto came back in a, in a certain way. But then it had a lot of fillers that were garbage. Absolute garbage. But the thing is, this recent arc with Kara is actually good. Like I was saying before. These somehow these shonen animes are making resurgence, so just because I think it has potential. It's going in the C tier for now, but it's going in the C tier, but it has the potential if this arc runs smoothly. And also I had that one fight between Kakashi, not Kakashi, Naruto Sasuke and the, the alien dude, which is one of the best animated scenes in all of Shonen. I don't know why they put so much budget into that, but they're starting to do it again, so it has potential, but the fillers and some of the some of the story is kind of kind of boring. Okay, we got some we got some uh let's Okay, I don't know Hajime no Ippo. I don't know this one. I have never watched Soul Eater. Unlucky. Unlucky for the soul the three Soul Eater fans. I've never watched Noragami either. Uh but I've watched everything else, so we can uh we'll narrow we're almost to the end here. We got Gintama. 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 Gintama technically still has a season left. So it has more potential to be even better than it is. But it also has a potential to be worse. I will put Gintama into the A tier. Into the top of the A tier. Now it's actually like the most top rated uh, on my anime list. I do. I did enjoy Gintama a lot. But it is at its core a sort of a parody slash satire series. Um, and that... I mean, it does does have shonen elements, don't get me wrong, but in a shonen anime contest, I would put it at the top of A. Next, we got Promise Neverland. Now, Promise, I have not watched season two. This is the thing, I have not watched season two yet. And, which I probably should, now that I think about it, but... It is quite a good show from season one, and it, I think it can only get better. 
this point. But I'm not sure. So I'm going to put it... Promise Neverland. I'm going to put it... Top of B. Top of B. Hopefully no one gets mad at that. Uh, it's quite a good show, actually, but... In terms of shonen, it's not exactly shonen. So we'll leave it there. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Now there's a lot... Yu Yu Hakusho is a good show, don't get me wrong. It was also one of the first shows I watched. And I have watched it twice because I watched it so far long ago I wanted to watch it again. But after watching it a second time, I realized that, yeah, the first, up until, uh, what's his, I don't remember his name, but the guy that's really buff and looks like a V, he has a V head, and it start, his name starts with a T, pretty sure. But that guy, after that guy got defeated, the show kind of went to shit, honestly. Um, like the weird demon shit kind of whack there's a lot of tournament arcs though i like tournament arcs i'm a fan of tournament arcs personally but we'll put it top of c Ooh, top of c yeah because yeah i'll put top c because half of it is kind of like the the, the ending half is kind of bad in my opinion okay we got katekyo hitman reborn katekyo hitman reborn Ooh, ass. Ass. It's in the butt cheeks category. It's probably better than Seven Deadly Sins, so I'll put it above that, but. It's one of, it's one of the few anime on this. It's literally the only anime on this list. That. I. Cut. Before I finished. So I watched like a hundred episodes of this anime. At least. I'm pretty sure. And then I stopped because it was just too boring for me at that point. And I am a sucker for garbage so in it. As you can see for my fairy. I mean. I mean fairy tale is objectively the best anime. But. It does have a few flaws you know. I'll admit it has a few flaws. But. To take your hit man reborn. I actually had to stop halfway through. So. It has to be a butt cheeks. I don't even remember. I just remember it was just bored. I was just bored out of my mind. Bruh, shut up. My opinions are objectively right. Alright. Next we got My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. Is definitely... A tier. A tier anime. It's very... It has nothing outstanding about it. But... It also is quite good in everything. So in that, in that, in that sense, it's more of a jack-of-all-trades anime. And it, it's, it's a, it's, I would say it's above average in everything. In, except for, except for plot, but then again, I've read the manga and the plot is getting is thickening. What is your rating rubric, you plebeian? Okay, we got we got some we got we got a couple rating we got a couple points here. We got it's a first of all it's a shonen anime ranking, so you gotta. How do I say this? Okay, so first, you gotta take into consideration animation. Because it's, it's, this is an anime tier list. You gotta consider animation. Pacing in the anime, especially, is important. And then you'll have art and fillers. So these are all anime, these are all anime only things. You wouldn't see this in a manga. Why is your IRL FPS 28? 
What are you talking about? Heck. Anyways, um, going on to my rubric. Give me the link to this. You lagging, bro, but IRL. Well, my bad. I don't really know how to just fix that. Okay, and then now, now we're gonna have, we're gonna have, uh... Oh yeah, and now, you also have to take into consideration the, the plot, the story, the characters. And then also, oh yeah, also, I do consider the OST part of it, okay? The OST matters. If I did a, I would do, I, I, I'm honestly gonna do an OST ranking. Because I, I will, I'm an expert in that category. Anyways. And then, um, what else is there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, if it has good, if it has good breasts, bonus points. Anyway, let's go to the next show. One Punch You Manu. One Punch Man is... S tier! S tier, baby! One Punch Man is one of my favorite shows. Oh, wait, but it's anime. Oh, no, the anime. The anime is not an S tier. So I will put it in the middle of A tier now. Because now I just remember it's season 2 and it is actually bad. Compared to season 1. It's serviceable. But after like, it, it, if it was, if the season 1 was in the season 2 animation. I think people would complain less about it. But since... Madhouse already like did so good on the season one and then it dropped to that people's expectations Were shattered, but now they're just angry including me. So boom it goes into a tier just because of that But it has one of the my favorite series overall Especially the manga Amazing manga you should read one fashion man if you haven't and finally, the last anime on the list that I haven't ranked, that I have watched, is Hunter x Hunter. Now Hunter x Hunter, I'll say right off the bat, I've watched twice. So therefore, it must be in the S tier. Now where in the S tier is it? Is it higher than Death Note? Yes. Is it higher than Attack on Titan? Probably not. So uh, it goes here. I will put it here. <sighs> Hunter Hunter. The first time I watched Hunter Hunter, I did not like the Chimera and Art at all. I thought it was way too slow. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really get what was happening most of the time. But the second time I watched it, it was super hype. So I think I was just, you know, my brain was not developed enough when I watched it the first time. Because that was in like high school or something. I can't remember exactly, but second time I was in college sometime. Or was it? Wait a second. Yeah. Anyways, it's a goddamn good ass show. I pray... That Togashi gets off his ass, starts fucking right drawing again. E even if he gets some uh, random schmuck to draw for him, he just tells him what to do. Yeah, you can do that too. But I think he he wants to do it himself, but then he doesn't. Anyways, I hope the they, my my dream is that they animate Dark Continent arc at some point. 
but as a standalone anime up to where it, it stopped it is still an s tier anime And there you have it, guys. The official Shonen anime tier list. Alright. Objectively, no flaws whatsoever. You take it or leave it. If I don't get flamed in the comment section, I mean, I won't because it's right. But if, never mind, whatever. You guys can do whatever you want. But just know that I'm right and you're wrong. And... Alright, so, uh... I'll probably do some more tier lists in the future. This is pretty fun. But, uh... I'll see that. Uh,